Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, if you watch my channel, you know I love science and you know I love making a mess. And so today I'm going to teach you how to make something really fun. It's called oobleck. And all you need is some cornstarch and some water and a place to get messy. Okay, so the thing about oobleck is it's super fun, but it's super messy. So if you can't be outside, then what you really want to do is make sure that your work surface is totally covered. I'm going to use a brown paper bag, um, but I would suggest using a tarp or garbage bags or something that you can really, really cover your work surface because this stuff does get really super messy. Super, super fun, but it's super, super messy. You're going to need a bowl and you're going to need a spoon and then you're going to want to have a cup of water on hand. Now I've also got a little measuring cup here. This is two ounces. There's going to be four of these per cup of water. I'm going to be using this to help make sure that I get the right consistency for my oobleck. And in this case I'm going to be using half a cup of cornstarch. Cornstarch is awesome. You find it in the cooking aisle. They use it for thickening things like gravy. So it's either going to be in the cooking aisle or it's going to be in the baking aisle. So this is cornstarch. You're going to want to have cornstarch. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my area here. I've just taken a brown paper bag and cut the bottom off so it lays nice and flat. And I'm going to take the cornstarch, the half a cup of cornstarch, and I'm just going to pour it in. <laughs> See what I mean about it being messy? It's messy already and hasn't even gotten wet yet. I'm going to pour it all in to my bowl. Now here's where you have to be patient and you also have to take your time with the amount of water that you add because here's the thing. If you add too much, it's going to get too runny. Now it'll be really fun to still play with, but it won't be as cool if, as if, if you take your time and get it to the exact right consistency. So I'm going to start with just two ounces of water. So I'm going to fill this up and I'm just going to pour it in and then I'm just going to kind of swirl it around. The, the problem with oobleck, I mean it's a problem but it's also a cool thing about oobleck, is that there is no one set real recipe for it because it varies from place to place and you know it varies with how hot your pl the, where you live or how much air pressure, how high above sea level you are. There's all kinds of things that, that work and play here. Okay, so now you can see I was able to get that water in there, but I'm still got a lot of dry off to the side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another two ounces, but I'm not going to pour the whole thing in. I'm going to start by just pouring half in. So that's going to be like half there. That's going to be about three ounces of water in here so far. Okay, now I'm going to, ooh, now it's starting to get good. Okay, so kind of swirl it around in your bowl. You can see how it's kind of like getting thick and liquidy at the same time. That's what's so cool about oobleck. Now, here's the thing. If you want to, I mean, get super messy, you can add food coloring to your water. The only thing about it that I've found is that it really stains your hands when you're playing with it. And so, you know, the parental units may not be so excited about having stains caused by food coloring everywhere. So that's why I would suggest just using plain white because it's just as much fun. Okay, now that was three ounces of water and that is about the consistency that you want. So that was half a cup of cornstarch and three ounces of water. And check this out. This is what makes it so cool. So now you get your hands in there. Once you've, once you've got to a point where it's like you can tell it's like pretty cool and pretty together, then you can start playing with it with your hands. And it's, it's, it, this is the coolest stuff because it's like it, it melts. Like it starts, like watch this, like it'll be like a ball, but then it melts. I mean, and I can't even begin to describe the feeling. It's smooth, but it's chunky and it's sticky and gooey and it's just plain awesome. 
And now it's time to play and answer that age old question. Is it a solid or a liquid? Only the oobleck can tell. For more messy, misty, yicky ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Don't eat it. And now it's time to play and answer that question. Is it a solid or is it a liquid?